Hi everybody, my name is Kayla. Today, I've got another book haul. I have over 30 books here, but the over is one. I have 31 books here to show you. And I have a couple that I got in the end of July that I ordered online, Books Million Book Outlet, and they arrived in August. But this is my August book haul. And most of the books are books I got from my local used bookstore, and then a couple I got from when we were out of town with the family, with my family, and we stopped at a bookstore and I got 10 books there. So, there's a lot of books, and there's not much time, so let's get started. Let's get started. I have two things to show you. First of all, if you haven't noticed, there's like no space on, oh, there's a brush there. Oops. Um, there's like no space on my bookshelf. Yeah, this is like packed in. So I'm hoping to get another bookshelf soon, and I'll be doing a reorganization video. Also, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't because I pretty much just trimmed it. I cut my hair! I put layers in and I like, it was like here before, so I cut off the ends because they're kind of dry and stuff. So this is my hair now. I like it a lot more because it's lighter. I don't know. Let's get started! Where I put it? There we go. So I piled it in books I bought from online. Like, I have a, I got four books from Books a Million and then not sure how many I got from Book Outlet. And then used books. Some of them I got from my local used bookstore, and some of them I got from, ten of them I got from my a bookstore when we were out of town. It's a family in the mountains, and it's, my local used bookstore is Ever McKay's, and that bookstore is McKay's. It's the wife of Ever McKay's, and she wanted to own her own store. So, it's very large, very awesome, and so I got a lot of books. So, I'm going to start with the books I got online at Books of the Book Outlet. But first, book I want to show you is Catacomb by Madeline Rocks. I won an Epic Reads giveaway, and I won this, and I re- <laughs> A few months ago, read Asylum and loved it, and then read Sanctum really recently at the library, and it was okay, not as good as Asylum, but still good. And this book, I'm about halfway through, and I'm really enjoying it. The pictures are really good, although, because it is an arc, there are a few where it says, picture not, like, ready yet, and so it's not here. This book comes out September 15th, so if you're interested in reading it, you should go check that out, September 15th. I'm really excited about it, really enjoying it right now. I'm right now reading it, and I'll be doing a book talk when I finish it. Thank you so much, Epic Reads. I'm really excited about it. So this is the first book. Oh, I need to move this Okay, now the books I got from Books a Million and Book Outlet. The first book is the main reason I did a Book Outlet order, and it is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I have been wanting to read this book for a while. Looks really awesome. I'm excited. You should be excited, because I'm excited. I'll be doing a book talk about most of these, but this one in particular. The next book I also got from Book Outlet, and this is Reality Boy by A.S. King. I picked this up because I'm talking really fast. <laughs> I read something real by Heather Demetrius recently, and it is about a girl who's on a reality TV show. This is about a boy who's on a reality TV show, and I absolutely loved something real. I thought it was so unique and such an interesting, like something you don't really think about, but I, it's probably true about everybody. And so this looked really interesting because it has kind of the same concept, and um, Ariel Bissette absolutely loves this book and loves anything by S. King, so that pushed me over the edge of buying words. <laughs> Next book I got is Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. I got this from Books Million. Um, this book looks a lot like um, Speak by Lori House Anderson. Kind of something happened to this girl, and she's not she's faking like she's normal, and she's not really telling or opening up to people and talking to people. And it looks very sad and very interesting, and I'll be doing a book talk probably. Making promises about all these books, but we'll see. I'm going to warn you. I'm going to say I'm excited like 80,000 times, but I say that in like all my videos. <laughs> not that I warn you. I, I, like I say, I'm excited over and over in all my videos. Next book is Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. I got this from Book Outlet. Really excited about it. My cousin absolutely loved this book, and it looks very intense and interesting, and I'm excited. I warned you. It just looks really interesting. Next book I got is The Impossible Life of Memory by Lori House Anderson. I got this from Books Million. Uh, it was a great deal. It was $4. I've been wanting this book for a while. Beautiful cover. Love anything by Lori House Anderson, and will definitely love this. Most likely love I'd be surprised if I don't love that. Next book I got is The 100 by Cass Morgan. I got this from Books Million as well. I mainly picked this up because of my sister. A few of her friends have watched the TV show and read the book and loved it, and she started watching the TV show and is loving it and wants to read the book, so I nicely picked that up for her. The next book I got from Book Outlet, and that's Trial, the complete trilogy, Switch, Torn, Ascend, by Amanda Hawking. Already read this trilogy. Loved it. Wanted to own it. I actually want to own it in separate books, but this is all my for 2 dollars Decided to pick it up. I really want my sister to read it, and I really loved it, and I just want it on my shelf. I go there. Next book I got from Book Outlet. Um, and this is Juliet Immortal by Stacey J. This is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. Looks really interesting. I'm not sure when I'll get around to reading this, but I am reading Romeo and Juliet for the first time soon, and so I'll probably pick this up right after, if not soon after. And I mainly picked this up because it's 79 cents. So, 79 cents book. You can't really be like, oh, I don't know what I mean. Um, next book I got from Book Outlet. <laughs> this is Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Coley. I actually bought the normal version. It even says on my invoice that I bought the like normal bargain version. But they sent me the signed version, which I think is really cool. I'm not sure if anybody else, like, if they bought this book or brought some other books and actually got sent the autograph version, but I think it's a nice surprise. I am excited about this. I've heard 
there's one person on Instagram, a booktuber, who talks about it all the time and has pictures of it. But it looks very intense and interesting. It's about a girl who, um, she got kidnapped, I think, and when she was 13, and right after she was 13, and she's been gone for a few years, and she comes back, and she doesn't remember anything. She only remembers until she's 13, but she's, like, 16, so she doesn't remember the last three years. So it looks very sad and interesting and sad. Next book I got from Bookhouse, and this is Wicked Girls, a, Sa a novel of the Salem Witch Trials by Stephanie Hempfield. I'm really interested in reading more of the Salem Witch Trial books. Obviously, this is fictional, so it's not really historical, but it is interesting to read. I re read The Witch of Blackbird Pond and loved it, and so I'm hoping this will be as good as that. The next and last book in the online buying books is a book I got from Books a Million. That's Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler, and the art is by Maura Kalman. I don't know if you can see that very well. I've been wanting to read this uh, for a while. It looks really interesting. Um, the main, like... I say the main reason, like, anyways, I've been wanting to read this for a while, but then one of my friends picked it up and read it and loved it, and she has a lot of similar taste to me, and so I decided it pushed me over the edge in picking it up, and I'm excited about it, and it looks awesome. I'm going to just put that there because it's weirdly sized. Okay, so these are used books I bought, and I'll tell you if they're from McKay's or if they're McKay's. It's not like there's a huge difference. I'm actually going to It's so high, like it's on the ground. I don't even really have to bend down. It is 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Hairstead. I'm really interested in reading this. I've heard several great things. Um, I know it's about a group of teenagers that are sent on the moon, I think, for, I don't know if it's, like, a game or if they're, like, tested, like, to see if, like, the moon is livable. I'm not sure. It just looks really interesting, and I'm excited about it. Definitely one I'll be picking up soon, as I'm kind of in that, like, science fiction, dystopian-y mood, and it looks awesome. Oops. Next book I got, and that one I got from McKay's when we were in the mountains. Next book I got, Hysteria by Megan Moranda. This is actually a signed copy. I read this a while ago and I didn't read all of it. I don't think I got it from the library. I only read part of it. It is like, it's about this girl who ends up murdering her boyfriend, but it's for self-defense. She just doesn't remember quite what happened. She just knows it's for self-defense. And then her parents are kind of scared of her, so they end up sending her to like a weird prep school and their secrets, and it looks interesting. It's also autographed, which is cool. And I got that from my local used bookstore. Next book I got, Catalyst by Laura Hess Anderson. I got this from my local used bookstore. It's by Laura Hess Anderson. I don't know much about it. I just know it's by Laura Hess Anderson. No, that's all I need to know. Her writing is amazing. And if you haven't read something by her, I definitely recommend it. Winter Girls was really sad, but amazing. Speak is really sad, but amazing. Poetic, beautiful, amazing. Next book I also got from my local used bookstore, and this is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. I'm almost done with this, really enjoying it. Um, I've, it's a very unique retelling, and I really love the idea. It was a little slow in the beginning, but it's definitely pulled me in now, and I'm really enjoying it. Next two books I got from the bookstore in the mountains, and it's Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters and by Jane Austen and Ben H. Winters, and Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham. One of these was $1.50, one of them was $2. The main reason I picked them up is because I have Emma and the Vampires, which is the same idea, like, by Jane Austen and somebody else, so I decided to pick these up as well so I can kind of, like, read the originals and then read all of these together, and it looks really funny and interesting, and the covers are really cool. I don't know if you can see them very well. So I'm excited about those. Excited about everything. Next book I got from my local used bookstore, and this is Unthralled Paranormal Divisions by... Lots and lots of people. I'm not going to read them all, but you can look at that. <laughs> this is a collection of short stories I recently read. Curiosities by Desi Gratton, um, Brenna Yavanoff, and Maggie Stavrotter, and loved it. And so I decided to pick up another collection of short stories. And I have not, I've only read one short story, and that was the one by Melissa Marr. It's called Merely Mortal. And so I'm excited to be reading more of those. Cool crystals over. There we go. The next book I got from the Bookstore in the Mountains, and this is Permanent Record by Leslie Stella. Um, this is about a group of friends that are kind of in, like, they get into trouble a lot, but then they're um, accused of something they didn't do that could go in their permanent record, and so they're trying to prove that they didn't do it. Love this cover. It looks like a really interesting book, and I'm excited. I'm excited. Next book I got from my local used bookstore, and this is Chain Letter by Christopher Bike. I have wanted this for a while. I almost bought it from Books a Million, actually, but I'm happy I didn't because this is cheaper. don't remember how much, but it was cheaper. <laughs> um, this actually has two books in it. It's Chain Letter and The Ancient Evil. It's about a group of friends that end up sending out a chain letter. No. They end up doing something bad, 
and then they get sent a chain letter that says you have to do what I say or I'm going to tell people what you did that was bad. It looks interesting and intense and terrifying. All good things. Next book I got from my local youth bookstore is Nintekit Blue by Leela Howland. Recently read it. Loved it. Great summer read. We're on the beach even though summer's over. <laughs> you should still read it. It's awesome. Next book I got from my local used bookstore as well. This is The Infinite Sea by Rick Grancy. I read Fifth Wave a while ago, like, before it was popular. I read it before it was huge. Like, it was huge from the beginning, but, like, when I didn't even know what it was, it was, like, $1.99 on Kindle or something, and so I decided to pick it up, and I loved it. And so now I'm reading the sequel. I want to own the first one in hardcover as well. I'm really excited about the movie and just excited. Next book I got from the bookstore in the mountains, and this is Back When You Were Easier to Love by Emily Wing Smith. This is about a girl who, her and her boyfriend break up, but she's still in love with him, and she's trying to, like, win him back. It was a dollar. It looks interesting. Really good contemporary, and I've been in the mood for, like, multiple things, but contemporary is definitely... I don't have many... Con I have a lot, but I don't have, like... It's one of those things I have less of. I have so many books, but I have less contemporary, so it's good to have a few more on my shelf. The next book I got from the bookstore in the mountains, and this is Arias Aristel. Oh my gosh, Ariestel, Aristo, and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin L. Ray Sanez. So many people love this book. It looks amazing, and I'm just really excited. It has so many awards, and it's beautiful. And I'm you, you guessed the word I was gonna say excited. Next book I got from my local used bookstore, and this is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash Rasesh. I don't know much about this. I know it's a fantasy. I've heard great things. It has a beautiful cover, and I have not read many fantasy. I own Throne of Glass up there. I haven't gotten a chance to read it. I'm not really a fantasy reader, but I do want to get more into that uh, genre. And so I picked this one up, hoping it might help me f fall more into that area. Next book I got from the bookstore in the mountains. This is Dreams of Significant Girls by Christina Garcia. Don't know much about it. I know it's about three girls that are like best friends and they end up going on adventures. I've seen this on um, Books Outlet a few times and I don't know, I haven't heard many things on Goodreads. It has good reviews. It was a dollar. I'll probably be reading it maybe next summer because it seems more like a summer read. I might read it. Depends on what I'm in the mood for, but it looks like more of a contemporary ebook. Next book I got from my local used bookstore, and this is Sever by Lauren Despana, the last book in the Chemical Garden trilogy. Mostly picked this up because I, at the bottom of this pile, I have Wither, which I got from my local used bookstore, and so I wanted to pick this up because it was a dollar, and so now I just need the middle one to finish the Chemical Garden trilogy. Next two books I got from my um, the bookstore in the mountains. This is The Life and Opinions of Amy Finnewatz by Lori Toppler Court. Looks like a really cute book, adorable cover, and it was a dollar. And I will probably be reading this for a book to like a readathon because it seems like really fast, fun read. And then I got Dirt Bikes, Drones, and Other Ways to Fly by Conrad Westhoff. Conrad Wesselhoft. I got this mostly because it just looks really fun and exciting and we're actually, my dad's reading out loud to us as a family. It just looks awesome and we ride dirt bikes and my dad rides motorcycles so it's really cool reading it and I'm just really enjoying it. And the last book, you guessed it, is Wither. 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 <laughs> Lauren Despano, the first book in the Chemical Gardens trilogy. I have heard mixed things about this. This book actually my sister bought and then I traded her a book she really wanted for this one and then I picked that one up because I already on this one so not sure when I'll get around to reading this but it does look interesting I am excited to read it just because I am curious what I'll think of it because I have heard mixed ratings so this is my Really high pitch. <laughs> you have a wonderful day, and I hope you had a wonderful summer. And it's school year. I hope you're having a great school, beginning of school. I will. My next video should be up soon, probably a August wrap up, or a library book haul, or an unboxing, or any of those things. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please check out my other videos and subscribe. Goodbye.